You're only getting 15 seconds between points. So players are feeling a little bit rushed. As Timo Ball said yesterday, I feel a little bit stressed, he said. So let's see how we get on here. It's Bernadette Zox to serve first. There, that's a deliberate tactic from Bernadette serving half long into the egg home forehand, hoping for a slow, spinny ball that she can use. One, a big two. misread of the serve there from Zox. Managed to get back into the point, though, unlucky not to win it. Two, four. We see a lot of Matilda Ekholm's games. She wins a lot of points on serve. And it'll be interesting in this match if she can capitalise on her strong serve. Our assistant referee just making sure that the palm is nice and flat before the serve is delivered. And this is a 24-minute match. For those of you that couldn't join us yesterday, the clock's going to count down from 24 minutes. 15 seconds between points. And at 10 all, we don't have any juices either, so that's adding a little bit of intrigue as well. A lot of matches yesterday ended up at 10 all. It was that interesting sudden death point. for the opening set. She didn't do, do too well there in her first serve either, just drifting long, letting Sox come in. Nervy times in these opening exchanges. Four, five. Remember, there's a lot on this match in terms of getting a lead for your team and also for yourself each match here. If you're to win, it's a nice paycheck, $1,000. That's not bad for 24 minutes work. Adapting better now to the at home serve, but it's just drifting a little bit too long. Bernadette's more comfortable attacking instead of touching around the net. a wonderful re-look there from the Ekholm racket. Look at the way she strides round and just drags the racket across the ball. Lovely slow-mo there of the action on the Bernadette Zox serve. Freddy our fly is back in town. Seven, six. Slight edge there. A late apology from Sox. She is a fiery one. Oh. That's a wonderful Seven. hunt of oh. serve. Oh. Crucial when someone delivers a fancy serve. A lot of the times those, those serves are just two or three inches off the end. And if you're playing well and you're seeing the ball, you can really capitalise on that. Yeah, Gavin, she can't really afford to let Ekholm dictate all the play here. She's too strong out in the forehand wing. A wonderful change of direction there, Ekholm. The first few service deliveries have been cross-court. Look at that one. Massive change. Oh. 
socks out with that there. Very well indeed. Not easy to play against Ekholm when she's back from the table. She can choose to turn around and swing a forehand. Big service now. Really appreciated the way that she managed to get round there, attack aggressively. That's what Zox needs to do. Placement was excellent there from Zox. Just outside of the middle of the table, playing more into the Ek home hip, not letting her get fully around the ball. Got to be delighted with that when you make a really good impact on the ball. Lovely arc, sending that through the air with a huge amount of dip. So it's game point. A little unforced error there, just not quite accelerating through the ball at home. And it just went a little bit flat long. Interesting this. Zox has the service now, so she's in control. That's sudden death. And that's what you want to do. Send in a reloop. Well done. Zox is back. Get that high five from the bench. It's team person that get their scoreboard going in these early stages of this afternoon's session. Confirmation for us, winning by that single point in the first game. Well, if that's what we've got in store for the rest of the day, it's going to be a cracker. Normally in table tennis, after each game, you would go around to the other side, but not in the T2 rules. We stay here for two games. And then we go round to the other side and get a different look at this fabulous cavern. She's definitely One. digging with the serve a lot better here. A little bit of advice from Jorgen Persson from the side, fellow Swedish player as well. First time she's used the, the pendulum service. It's a fault there. One, two. No. It's not often we see Bernadette being called for a service. She'll be very disappointed with that call. Bernadette. Bernadette just asking for clarification on why she was faulted there. Interesting, the clock didn't stop there. We have lost a little bit of time. And when you've had a call like that, and it was a horrible call, that is the way to respond. Serve. She went to the pendulum before, now the long deep. Just a little bit too slow, right in the racket too. Wonderful spin up there. Caught Zox with the, the long serve initially. Look at the way she just hoists that ball up into the air and that's very difficult to control. Made good contact with that as well. See Zox looking to get in more, serving a little float serve there, hoping that Ekholm will either mess up the serve or push long, getting Zox to get to get in. Three, five. 
So this is the first of six matches that we'll see in this fascinating tussle. It's always a women's match, followed by a men's match. And we continue like that until we have had six games. It always gets intriguing who can get off to the fast start. Team JJ and Team Person, they've done really well so far in the league. Six, four. Deafening clap here, you hear to the left hand side of me. If you want to know, is Matthias Carlson on his feet again. Five, seven. Nice to see Team Pearson has their bear mascot on show, front and center. That's real team spirit there, folks. Stats are tight, as you would expect so far. Not much in this. Six, seven. Appreciation there from person. He knows it's tough when Zox disappears back from the table. And that's what you'll be hoping that Ekholm can capitalise on. Ready the fly may have just been executed there by Bernadette Soft in the floor. <laughs> All humane, of course. Nothing to worry about. of the ball away there well on the world tour that would possibly be a yellow card be interesting how the referees deal with some of that through the remainder of the day look at what it means to suck so important points being accumulated <laughs> she's Six, using a similar ten. tactic again choosing to go to the egg home forehand first then playing long, deep, wide to the Echo backhand. She knows Echo won't get round there quick enough. Four game points. Seven, that's a good ten. miss, though. And that's it. Zog's just telling us to just calm down, relax. Got another three opportunities. As we know, it's not like normal table tennis where she can take her time. She really wants to speed ahead here, getting more and more points on the board. Got to appreciate that little number that JJ has on. He's set for the beach. it was going to be a time out there. Jorgen Persson, former Olympic champion, world number one. He'll know when to call the timeouts. So many games yesterday were decided by a single point at 10 all. It's the same way we've started today. From Zock's perspective, she'll be looking to win it on her own serve here. This is the last of her serves in the two sequence. Yeah. A little bit clever there. New Zox is going to try and penetrate the backhand, getting round here. Lovely. Much better movement from the Swede. 
And let's see if she used one of one of those big deceptive serves. She's known for those. Matilda hurls her bat across the table. Now, if that's not a yellow card, I don't know what is. Match break for one minute. No warning either in the earlier stage. Surely that even had to just warrant a warning at least. I look at an umpire and I get a yellow card. So I don't know what is happening there. It's quite clear in the rules. Interesting. But anyway, from Zock's perspective, that's a solid two games to love lead, winning on a sudden death juice point both times. Team Harrison Bench on their feet behind them, just showing respect to the coach and the player on the court. Nice to see. Duncan, such to serve, love all. Love one. So we have Let less than nine minutes Love remaining one. out of the 24. For those of you just joining us, if it does reach the kill zone between 22 one and 24 four. minutes, so with two minutes remaining, we would then go to a shortened set, first to five points, and at four all, again, we would see a sudden death point. One, so here we two. go again, it's another quick start for Zox. There's another change of service. You can really see how Echo is starting to get a little bit stressed. She relied on her reverse service yesterday. Now, not using it too much. It's wonderful to see this. Two fiery characters matching up against each other. This is what we want in the women's game. This streak continues. You think Ekum will be a little bit more fiery, but of course, yet to get a warning. Look at the concentration on Zock's face. He's down, ready to receive this serve. Flowing now, backhands and forehands, moving well. Wonderful view there of our cavern. Usually, if the player is stressed, the coach starts to get stressed. But Zhang Jiliang looks as cool as a cucumber over there in his little Hawaiian number. An ugly wow. flat flick, lovely variation. Left, eight, one. This could be an extremely quick set. The last set was just over eight minutes, at eight minutes and seven seconds. It's amazing wow. when someone gets on a roll though, we've only been going just over three minutes in this set. And already Zox way ahead. One ten. Right, last night, Team Pearson looked a little bit deflated. Jorgen must have had a little bit of a word this morning. Zox has come out of the blocks, firing at all cylinders. Ten two. So with eight game points, Zox will be looking, looking now to wrap this one up. And there it is, a little Joe, a little shout.
keeping everything positive. You know, I think that was just down to the first two sets. Matilda Ekholm, attitude disintegrating a little bit, getting a little bit negative. And that definitely impacted on her performance in that third set. Mentality does play a huge part in table tennis, especially here in the T2 cavern in the new T2 system. Just surprised that the umpires have let this little despondent display happen. Better from Matilda. A wonderful change of speed there from the Romanian. The way she just uses that deft touch to get the serve back. Fast in. not letting up here at all every even little scrappy points gets it Joe yeah yep, just get a little bit closer to the table says Zox A little bit unhappy with that point. Three, oh. Making sure she's not playing right in the racket. It's a few inches over into the egg home hip. Just enough to throw off balance. Look at the points one on serve as well. That's a very encouraging start for Bernadette. 21 to 16. Three, four. One of the very few unforced errors we've seen from the Zox racket. Four off. Big positive shouts again. Looks like this is going to be the last set we're going to play. Just over two minutes left. Whoever is leading, it could be eight points to seven. That would then mean a point for their team and individually. Four, six. Of course, though, with only two minutes to go, it means the thousand dollars is safely in Bernadette's bank account. Five, six. She doesn't want to stick on three sets though. She wants four. Ruthless. Seven, five. I'm just taking a little bit longer there. Tactical. Umpire's still not calling it though. Mm, not a great start. So the umpire not enforcing the 15 second rule. When a player throws the racket over to the other side of the table as well. Again, Seven, not brandishing six. the yellow card. So I don't really know what's going on out here to be honest. Home there. Only 36 seconds remaining though. Can't she stick in the lead? Can Bernie get another two points and then it's sudden death? Six. 
seven, eight. Quick eight. fire point, and that this this for me is definitely time wasting. Absolutely time wasting there from Matilda Eckholm, and it's horrible to see that. We should have had two points played there, really. Time's up. Game to Echo. 9 7. A match to search. And there it is. It was fiery. It was three sets to one for Bernadette Zox. Doesn't look happy, though. Not fully. Little thumbs up at the end. A little bit of sarcasm, really, there. Not happy with Echo wasting time. Even Jorgen says, no problem, just let it go, it's okay. Be happy, be happy. Well, two fiery characters, when they, they come ag again, head to head. Quite interesting, look at the service points won though. Team person, Bernadette Zock, 67%. That is extremely high, that's dominant on serve. 29 to 14 forehand winners as well in favour of Bernadette Zock. Just showing just the more aggressive of the two, staying a little bit closer really is crucial in the women's game. Wonderful to see the screams, the throw of the racket there that, that was rewarded, not given a yellow card, but it definitely was. The younger of the players, the fiery of the players, Bernadette Zox, that gets her team off to a flying start with a three sets to one victory.